Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction for you guys. Today, guys, of course, we are continuing the journey of Ben 10 Alien Force. This is Ben 10 Alien Force Season 1, Episode 10, titled, Won't Know Until I Get Into the Episode. So last week's episode, I think it's fair to say, was one of the biggest episodes of the journey so far in regards to all of Ben 10 and a little bit into Alien Force. It was one of the biggest episodes because Gwen's magic, even though there were some debates in the comments about this on the reaction, about the whole magic and the alien thing because it's revealed that Gwen and Ben as well is part alien in a sense. There's alien DNA within them. And people are referencing, well, Kevin earlier in Alien Force mentioned there's these hybrids or alien DNA within people. So it could happen. We, we literally saw that one kid who literally had his father's plumber's badge and he was part alien. He could turn into a, a heat blast, essentially. So... That was explaining her magic. But there's people in the comments debating, well, maybe, I think they're called anodites. I think, if that's incorrect, I apologize. But that her with having alien DNA, that, this, that maybe these aliens were able to harness magic and they've become that. So technically it's still magic. At the end of the day, with this huge reveal and everything, and by the way, George Newbern, Superman, voicing her father was amazing. And seeing her parents, I'm like, wow, I've been asking for this. So seeing Gwen's parents is awesome. But at the end of the day, as I said on my Discord, and I think I said in my video as well, but I'm going to make a point here to say it here again, is that this does not change my love and appreciation and care for Gwen. Gwen is still a badass, and the fact that she's part alien, that's awesome. So when she's using her abilities, her magic, alien you know, powers, whatever you want to call it, she's still kicking ass, she's still an amazing character, and I, I, I love her. I love the character. I, lo I love her and Ben, of course. And Kevin, yeah, he's growing on me. We'll see. But <laughs> but you get, what, you get what I'm saying. It doesn't change my personal opinion on Gwen at all. So anyways, that's it. So I'm excited to get the next episode, guys. We now have this information. I don't know where we're going to go with that in terms of her, but I'm assuming we're going to learn more about that potentially, about more what she could do, because her grandma Verdona made a point to say that, you know, I could teach you a lot. So there's a lot that she could potentially learn, but she didn't go with her grandma, so we'll see what happens. But anyways, let's get into now episode 10 of Alien Force. Let's go. What the hell's going on? Oh. You okay? What is going on? Oh shit. Lock him in. He's breaking through. Let him go. I'm back in business. You know but who are you gonna pick? Who? The suspense is killing me. What the hell? <laughs> what in the fuck? <laughs> what? Okay, yeah, he's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't do nothing. I'm like a little robot or whatever. Interesting. That's not gonna happen. So wait, it's been the robot or has been the goo or is it both? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's still alive. Smoothie. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> you know what? You two aren't even worth it. Wow, I love that. He was about to hit the watch too. It's ridiculous. I can't believe I used to be afraid of you. Look wow. around, Cash. We've all grown up. We're still the same pathetic loser who has to torment others just to feel good about himself. Go Ben. Go Ben, damn. He could have totally gone alien on that creep. I would have decked him. He got your good cash. You should have seen your face. Oh, shit. When, when he said, <laughs> Careful. nobody does that to me, JT. So, if it was me, I'd go trash it. Leave Ben for later. You mess up Kevin's car, and everybody will know you're bad. <laughs> and they're not noticing this at all. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, no. Wow. Think we could sell it? Hey! They grabbed the gauntlet that's still alive. Left the box where that was. Don't, Ben. Why? I can fly out. Why? Them. I'll find them. Then what? Look, behold the oh, don't do that. of my mighty robot arm. <laughs> this is not good. 
No, this is bad. It's not gonna come off. It's stuck to him. Oh! Dude. You okay? No. Oh, yeah. He's gonna try to steal it. It's mine. I saw the red in his eyes. And I'm not leaving until my ride is I'm not sharing. leaving. Mm. Want some help? You wanna help me? No juice for you! Where's Ben? I gotta warn him. He just left. Something's wrong with Cash. Yeah. The guy who messed with my car? Back in first grade, you and Ben used to eat paste together. You were nice. Then you started oh. hanging with Cash. They were friends? Cash isn't so bad. Cash is Cash. Cash what do you is want from Cash. Me? Seems to I don't me know. you have a lot of influence over him. Why are you still here anyway? If Cash yeah. is such a good guy, why don't you go hang out with him? Look, I just wanted to warn Ben. I mean, something's mm -hmm. wrong. And if he finds Explain out the gauntlet. Told, nothing will happen to you, JT. Your weasel friend you already be careful. told me you were here. You better be careful. Levin? What the fuck? You were just about to leave, right? No. No. This is good. Ooh. <laughs> Careful. Exactly. Ooh. To the ground. Exactly. Oh shit. That was good. That was good, Kevin. Oh. Who would have thought a bully from the original show would be back in this capacity? Ooh. Oh. Oh, he's gonna stop him. Yeah. You don't have to worry, Let's Take him more over. This isn't him. about you. Ben Tennyson. That's who this is about. There's a lot of people there, oh boy. Not good. Two of one? Hey. Hi. Because, he well, win. Cash is becoming it's part Cash. robot or something. I wasn't, Kevin's not like that, Ben. He's changed. A little. A little. Bet you're loving this. Kevin, not really, Kevin, no. Are you hurt? <laughs> he got his ass kicked. Not as bad as it looks. When we, I mean, Cash, trashed your car and all yeah, that Not me, out, Cash. We, we found him. the gauntlet. A big metal glove. Yeah. He called you out, bro. Three o'clock, the Mr. Smoothie. Mm hmm Okay. He was just there. This is gonna end. Go. I'll be okay. All right. I'll come back How's Ben gonna stop him? <laughs> Making a grand entrance. You guys thought I was so Wow. Funny? Who's laughing now? It's like Apocalypse, hey. kind of. The design a little bit. Marvel's Apocalypse. That's right. I kicked Kevin Levin's butt. Yeah. And you're next, Tennessee. This is messed up. We were He's not going to be able to talk him down, fun. I don't think. Oh, shit. Good choice. Good choice, Ben. Cash, listen to me. Hey, Cash. I don't want to do this. Nice. Oh, revert back. You're some kind of freak. I'm going to stop. I'm never going to stop. You're kind of a freak, too, now. Ooh. Jesus, just ragdoll throwing him around. Ooh. Damn. Why are Come you on. Doing this? He's losing. It doesn't have to be this, doesn't way, have to be this way, man. You don't have to you do this. Grow up. That thing doesn't Come on. You. Yeah. You control it. Maybe. Oh. Get Take it off and break it. Break it. We should get together sometime and eat paste. Huh? Eat what? Come on, Cash. I feel like I'm forgetting something. You Kevin? Did. We have to lock that robot glove up someplace oh, where yeah. we can't take control of anyone else. Kevin. Hello? Anybody? And there you have it, guys. The gauntlet. The title is perfect for what happens in this episode because the opening of the episode with this robot and they're fighting it, there's no real explanation or whatever. It just is happening we're in the middle of the fight and then the gauntlet of the robot is still alive i'm like i don't know where we're gonna go with this and then it ends up going with the fact that cash the bully from the original ben 10 series is the one who it connects to essentially and he starts being transformed by it he's turning into the robot essentially again or a version of it it's kind of crazy how literally it was like taking over his whole body and making him stronger and everything and he was able to fight it back of course at the end but i wasn't expecting that at all we also got a new alien in the opening of the episode with that first fight with the robot, the original one. At least, I'm assuming it's the original one. Who knows? Because that could have been 
the one that somebody was taking over before, and then, uh, who knows? There was no real explanation of it, but we got a new alien, Goop. I actually had to pull up the voice talent for the credits of the episode, because D. Bradley Baker is voicing the new uh, alien, and when he transformed, I'm like, what the fuck? First of all, crazy design, and then I'm like, what did he say? Like, I couldn't really hear exactly what he said when he was yelling his name, but it's Goop. I'm guessing that's because G-O-O-P, Goop. I'm guessing it's Goop. So, it's kind of bizarre, because at first I'm like, okay, so it's this slimy, like, cool-designed alien, but then there's this little, like, disc thing or whatever that's kind of holding it up or whatever, and then that thing is talking, and the goop is a separate thing, or maybe it's all, I, I'm so confused on the structure of this alien, so I'm guessing Ben is the goop, like the actual green slime, and the robot itself, or whatever that's holding it up, because it, it would like, move around with the goop as a ball, and then it would transform into the actual body of the alien, and then it'd be like smashed, and then the alien would get up, and then retract all the goop, so I'm guessing Ben is all of it. I guess <laughs> it's a little, it's a little strange, but I will say it's one of the most unique aliens I've seen so far. And obviously I we're, we're, we're not even close to halfway through the journey of this, of all the Ben 10 stuff. So there's plenty more aliens. We're probably, I'm probably going to be introduced to, I'm guessing because of the fact is we got new aliens here. I'm assuming new aliens and ultimate alien. I'm guessing, I don't know, but anyways, so it definitely so far, one of the most unique designed for sure. So I wasn't expecting the route of we're we're gonna be dealing with Cash and JT was the other kid. I, that's why I also pulled the voice down to make sure I got the names of the boys. I wasn't expecting to see them in this episode. They spill uh, the smoothies that Ben had, and Ben instead of turning and using the Omnitrix and and using it against them, he's like, "You're not even worth it." And he was specifically pointing out Cash specifically because Cash is like kind of the ringleader. He was kind of the main guy causing the bullying and you understand later on when JT's talking to uh, Gwen about it's better if I'm on his side because I'm not the one being bullied I'm not the one that he's going after because I'm friendly to him I'm I'm supporting him you know I'm over here you know and she's like well that's a great relationship that's a great friendship you know it seems like that's the only thing like, like, that's why because then we find out because JT and Ben were friends before he started hanging out with the bully Cash so I'm like, that's new. I think that's new information. I don't think we've heard that before. So I was like, okay. So they were friends at one point, and then JT chose the side just to be on the side of the bully to not be bullied. I'm guessing he was bullied beforehand. Who knows? But Ben stood up to them, specifically Cash, and said, you're not worth it. You guys haven't grown up. And he was really laying it on. Like, it was hardcore. And there was a bunch of people there. I guess the smoothie place is very popular. <laughs> And they're like, yeah, go Ben. Because he could have easily fought back, used the Omnitrix. He did not. He stood up to them, right? So then Cash and JT are idiots, and they both push down a hill after reaching a dead end on the road next to the diner that all three of them are eating in. Cash and JT push the car down, and they take a couple things, including the gauntlet that falls out of the trunk when it hits, like, a fallen-down tree with, like, a trunk that's just left, and the car hits, and the trunk immediately opens. Not a lot of damage, because realistically, when that car would have hit that trunk going down as fast as it was, realistically, the trunk should have been completely crushed in, but whatever. It's animation. They could have still done that, but anyways. I guess it would be too much damage to, the, to repair properly. I don't know. So then... They, they start using the gauntlet, JT and Cash. They're firing stuff. Cash, of course, takes it. He doesn't want JT to have it. And then that one shot of JT's like, oh, you're not kidding. Because Cash's like, I'm going to get Ben back. I'm going to get him back. You know, I'm going to go after him. But they see how powerful the gauntlet is, firing beams and shit. When Cash is laying back, right, he's laying back. He's got the gauntlet. His face is covered in shadow, but there's like a light shining down. But he's laying so far back that he's out of the, the light. He turns to JT as he goes for the gauntlet, and the, his eyes are glowing red. Like, the fuck is happening here? And then, of course, when we see him again, when JT goes to talk to Kevin and Gwen looking for Ben, Kevin goes to the abandoned, whatever, mannequin factory, whatever, that's a weird place to hang out at. And then it's already starting to morph on him. Cash has the gauntlet, and then it's starting to morph onto him a little bit. He's stronger. He kicks the crap out of Kevin. He kicks the crap out of him. 
I'm like, because Kevin is has been pretty damn good at fighting and able to absorb concrete and metal and everything. And I don't know if Cash has been a fighter, but all of a sudden he just knows, I guess maybe because he's starting to be changed by the robot gauntlet that he's able to instinctively know how to block shit and everything. I have no idea. Or just be good at fighting. I have no clue. But he kicks Kevin's ass. So Ben shows up and he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to fight him. Ben does not want to fight um, a Cash. And Ben's wanting to just not do this. But then Cash is like being really aggressive. And when he shows up at the smoothie place to take on Ben at three o'clock for some reason at the parking lot, I'm guessing let's go back to the scene of where he was insulted by Ben. I'm guessing that's the, the thinking of why he wanted to go back there to fight Ben. That he's looking completely covered almost with like a little tendrils or whatever, or something over his head, but his whole body is now the robot again, essentially. And that's where I was like, this reminds me of apocalypse a little bit of the design apocalypse. Design. Obviously it's not close, like close, close to Marvel's apocalypse, but it's kind of there a little bit in terms of the color scheme and the, the, some of the armor, the suit or whatever. But then he's fighting Chromastone, which I was surprised by Chromastone. I would have thought Humongousaur. That's who I thought originally Ben was going to go after. Because when he was turning at the beginning, but before he turned into Goop, I'm thinking he's going to turn into Humongousaur, but he chooses Chromastone. But then again, he used Goop last time to obliterate the uh, robot by going inside it and then expanding outwards, which is bonkers. But I knew he wasn't going to do that again, because essentially that, essentially that could have killed Cash, maybe. But there was a whole thing to where Chromastone's getting the upper hand and he's saying, you know, Ben's at Chromastone. It's like, say, you've got to stop, you know, stop fighting it. Just stop fighting me. You know, what's the point? He's like, you don't understand. I have to. And then he's almost completely transformed. And then that's when JD says, you can fight this. It doesn't control you. You control it. And then he's able to reverse the transformation, which I guess has you have to have strong willpower, I'm guessing. Some strong willpower to actually do that, I'm guessing. I have no idea because we didn't see that because I'm assuming the robot they originally faced in the opening was not transformed by somebody. I don't know because there was no real addressing where this robot came from. Why are they fighting it in a random warehouse or whatever? Like, what's going on? Who knows? <laughs> but then it seems JT and Cash are better. I don't know. Like I wasn't expecting the direction of we're gonna do. We're gonna have the bully of Ben Ten, who we did see, I think, in an episode in JT as well uh, earlier in Alien Force. So we have seen them before. Maybe there's another time as well. But anyways, that I wasn't expecting the direction. Okay, so we fought this alien robot, whatever, or the gauntlet, and now he has the gauntlet and he's being transformed. I wasn't expecting that. I guess now they know that Ben is an alien or Omnitrix, and they know that Gwen has powers too. I mean, now it's readily known, and Kevin as well. I don't know if that affects or changes anything in the world of Alien Force Ben Ten, but hey, it's out there now. It's common. It's now now they know. I don't know what that means, but overall. Uh, I felt like the action was good, wasn't expecting where the story was going, but uh, I thought it was interesting that we brought the uh, bullies back in a sense, and to realize that at one point, JT and Ben were friends. They were friends at a time, and then everything kind of shifted, and I like the fact that Ben has now, no, 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 I'm not going to deal with this anymore, and you're just ridiculous and stuff, it's sad. I like the fact that Ben stood up for himself, and said, I, I can't believe that I was scared of you, and I was like, some big words there, Ben, but Ben is holding his ground. And not dealing with the nonsense. So, what you guys think of the episode? I'm curious to know your thoughts, guys, about this episode of Ben 10 Alien Force. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.